So good morning, everybody, and welcome to session number 647 of Empowering Morning Conversations. So as the name will suggest to you, and as you also practically know, these, these are conversations to empower all of us. Empower us for what? Empower us to live a life of ease, joy, and glory. Empower us to get out of our conditioned automatic way of living. And to help us to create a life that we desire. So you note the word desire. So yesterday we started this conversation with the word desire and we had some very, very interesting things to say about it. Now today, I am going a little deeper into it. I say most of what we think we desire, maybe not what we truly desire. Okay. Because of so much, and it's not our fault or anything, there has been so much of conditioning going on in life, so much influence uh, of other people, so much influence of the media, so much influence from our friends and family and elders, and all that influencing and all the expectations that people have, somewhere, it made us bury our true desire somewhere deep inside us. Now you may ask me, okay, why is this so much interest in knowing what this true desire is? For the simple reason, in life we are doing something in order to get something, isn't it? And you have noticed that sometimes it's easy to get that, easy to achieve your desire, and sometimes it is very, very difficult, okay? So this is the question that has been there in my mind. And I discovered that if your true desire, that is the one in your heart, which the universe listens to. And instead of trying for that desire, you are asking for something else. So there is a kind of dissonance inside of you. Now, sometimes these desires of yours, your real desires are buried so deeply inside that you also don't know about it. Okay. So if you don't know about it, you cannot speak about it. If you don't know about it, obviously you cannot request the universe to grant that. Okay. So I thought let's do a little short, short session today. All that we want to do today is to look within us and find out what is that we really desire. Now, believe me, the first 10 things you may say are only the ones which are coming from your super, you know, the superficial ones. Like one which normally people will say, oh, I really want to serve humanity. Yeah, okay, maybe you do. But where did that one come from? So I'm going to ask you to do a little eyes closed exercise. And you may find this repetitive, it doesn't matter, but I'll ask you a question and you can silently answer it in your head, okay? So close your eyes and take a long deep breath, really long deep breath, take an abdominal breath, long one, and then let go and relax. Take another long deep breath and let go and relax. And take another long deep breath, let go and relax. Take a long deep breath, let go and relax. Take a long deep breath and let go and relax. And as you allow yourself to relax, get into a state of deep relaxation and start noticing what is on top of your mind just now. Give your full awareness to what your mind is saying right now. Be with what your mind is saying completely. Do not try to stop it.
Now take all your attention and allow yourself to go deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. And as you do that, drop all your barriers and be willing to receive. What energy, space and consciousness will you be that would allow you to be in touch with your deepest desires and anything that comes in the way of that will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right and wrong, good and bad, good and bad, good and bad, good and bad, and beyond. So what is it that you truly desire? And where did that come from? What is it that you truly desire? And where did that come from? What is it that you truly desire? And where did that come from? What is it that you really desire? And where did that come from? And what is it that you really desire? And where did it come from? What is another thing that you truly desire? And where did that come from? And what is it that you truly desired or desired? And where does that come from? Now I want you to imagine that all these desires that you talk, thought about, all these desires have been fulfilled. Now when all your desires are fulfilled, what else do you desire? and all your current desires have been fulfilled, what do you really desire? What else do you really desire? Suppose no thoughts are coming with regard to how will I fulfill it? How will I do it? It is not possible to do it. If you give up all those thoughts, what is it that you truly desire? If you give up all your thoughts of what will people say, how will I do it? If you give up all your doubts and concerns, then what is it that you truly desire? Keep your eyes closed. Keep on breathing normally and naturally. What is it that you truly desire? And if all your desires are fulfilled, then what do you really desire? What is it that you truly desire? What else do you truly desire? And imagine all your desires are fulfilled. Then what is it that you truly desire? Just relax and let your mind give you an awareness.
What is it that you truly desire? If you give up your resistance to thinking about what you truly desire, if you give it up, then what is it that you truly desire? If you give up your fear, so do the exercise, Suresh, don't put things in the chat right now. If you gave up your fear of expressing your desires, then what is it that you truly desire? What else do you truly desire? If you give up all your shoulds, and if you give up all the imposed expectations, then what is it that you truly desire? The unique human being that you are, what is it that you truly desire? All right, we can stop now. And now is the time you can speak. Okay. What is it that you discovered? What is it you realized as we were doing this exercise? Kindly share this with others. Yes, Reddy Garu. Yeah, good morning. Yes, Reddy Garu, go ahead. Please go ahead. Uh, in fact, so much. Yes, sir. Good morning. Morning. Yeah, please go ahead, Reddy Garu. You are going to say something. Uh, yes, sir. I uh, hear uh, my internet is not very good. That's why I start my video. Uh, see, when I thought about the uh, wishes, what are fulfilled, wh what I desire, so many th uh, things are lined up for me. So many uh, what uh, I wish to do, and after fulfilling that, uh, what uh, what else I'm um, uh, I want I wish by inner process. Uh, it's a good experience, sir. Right, great. Thank you so much. Yes, Suresh Kumar, you came only at the end when only five minutes of the exercise were remaining. So you actually have not done the exercise. So I'm not going to let you speak right now. Okay. After everybody has spoken, then you can speak. Thank you. Yes, sir. Who else? What happened? So what did this exercise reveal to you? Yes, Priya. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir, peace and harmony and a safe death. Peace and harmony and a what? A safe death. I don't know it was coming. Okay. Got it. Thank you for sharing that. What else?
All right, Neeti. So at the moment, I cannot say too much about this, but um, there are certain changes I've started noticing in the last three to five days, and that is what came in this also. And it is connected with a very, very deep desire of mine. And I just saw that and why this desire has come through in this way and uh, beyond achievement of this would be contribution to mankind, environment, mm -hmm. all of that. Contribution. Yeah, you've got in touch with your deep desire, no? Yes. Yes. And I suppose you can't talk about that. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Neeti. All right. Then I think I'll invite Kunen to tell his shahiri. Yes, Vetri will. Thank you very much for the opportunity, sir. Uh, four beautiful things have come out. Uh, start with, uh, obviously, it starts with achieving the financial freedom. Many, I don't need to run for any more survival tasks. So it should be taken care. That's my first desire. Second is uh, desire to become a happiness coach. Meaning I should be the symbol of happiness wherever I go. I have to standardly create happiness for myself and create happiness for others. So that is coming up. Third thing is, uh, I want to be a very deep spiritual person to even go to somewhere also fine, but to find out the potential in me or potential in human being. Fourth one is the different, uh, which you said, throw away all the logics, just desire. Then immediately comes that megastar beyond. She is coming to Dubai in February. She is charging uh, uh, beyond the pop star. Ah, beyond. Lady. Yeah. So what happened with tree? The moment uh, she is, which if I calculate is. Can you hear me, sir? Now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe it is influence of the pop star. She charge. She is coming to Atlantis uh, to do a program to launch a project. She is charging twenty four million US dollar for one hour program, which I calculate into Indian currency. It is hundred and sixty six crore for one hour. Yeah. <laughs> which 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 I want to go. I want to be like that. Go give one hour speech. Charge hundred and sixty six crore rupees. Thank you very much, sir. Oh. Very nice. Thank you very much. Yes, Guru Nandan. And then after that, Kuldeep Ji. Yeah. Sir, first of all, uh, uh, thank you so much. It was such a deep exercise. Uh, you know, Piaz ke dar ek parat ke baad, dusri parat ke baad, tisri parat. <laughs> so, you know, it all started with my uh, own desires and family desires and financial all those kind of desires, uh, health and all that. And then, uh, you know, it came that what is the true purpose? Desire was like it was finding a true purpose of life, right? So it was like uh, I had written one statement a few uh, months back that what I want to achieve in my life uh, through what I do is enrich lives and happy humanity, right? A statement I had written about a few months back, right? And uh, truly, frankly speaking, today I realized that what I need to do to enrich lives, as many as lives, and how can I create happy humanity, right? So, uh, thank you so much. Uh, today I found the meaning of that statement and what I need to do for that. And as I had uh, shared with uh, you all earlier also, Another desire is going to get fulfilled tomorrow. We are going to start our program with five blind people. First time in the history of this kind of a thing we are doing, going to do, and I really need blessings and prayers for all the wonderful family out here for EMS to be successful in that. Sure. I truly need your blessings. You have them. Thank you.
Yes, Kuldeep ji. Sir, I felt that the deep desire of feeling happy all the time and expand this happiness to all to the best of my capacity. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. All right. Who else? Tell me, let us have Suresh Kumar speak. Okay, Ashok ji first. Uh, as as far as the uh, I, I agree with uh, Guru Nandan that I should be very calm and peaceful at the time of uh, leaving this world. Uh, that but was that clear. Peace, I said that. But that, that peace will come only if my all desires are met. Otherwise, that peace won't be there. And that peace is fulfillment of my responsibilities towards my family. That is first, good health for me and enough strength and money to help the people, those who look, for, look to me for their help or some, some kind of help they need. So, good health for me and enough strength and mental stability to help people, those who need my help. That, that is all that I need. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's interesting, you know, when you go deeper inside you, what all comes out. But also, some of you might notice that you don't want to go deeper. You look at yes, something yes, on the surface, true, true. come to a conclusion and stop there. Because for some reason, it is uncomfortable to go deeper. You know, but that's where the real thing comes out. If you're willing to go a little deeper. <laughs> we have been seeing only a day or two, or maximum a month ahead. I never seen beyond that. Okay, under jo the BV, the ones which are really deep inside, which are really important ones, we have suppressed them for so long. I don't know. There, there could be something. Sure. You keep looking. What, what shall I say? You know, the the surface surface pe surface. Pe ye, sir. I don't think we have gone, gone deeper than that. I don't think. Some, so. some people might have. You never know. Hey, so you be there in that conversation in your mind. And let's see what comes out of it. Okay, thank you, Ashok ji. Just, just one thing I will add. Yesterday, when you said that, uh, try to find out what is your true desire. Yes. The whole day I spent it only on materialist, materialistic desires. <laughs> yes. Never connected with this. Gadi puncture nahi honi chahiye. Gadi mein petrol hona chahiye. Shared penny sneaky, only chai, etc., etc. But they were all materialistic desires. They were, they were not this kind of desire. See what in the morning. What I say, most of these desires are not really, they are more uh, survival desires. Right? I should have a good house because I did not have a good house. See, most of them are survival ones. If you get out of the survival ones, See, at some point of our time in our life when we were children or something, survival was not our concern. No? Yes. Since we were concerned about our survival, we were not. At least it was not on top of the mind. Even though child also has a built-in survival mechanism. But survival was not on top of the mind, which, which, which it is now. And I, I had mistaken between the requirement and desire. Exactly. Most of the things which I was thinking were requirements. They were not desires. Exactly. 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 Yeah. Thanks for bringing that out. All right. So, since nobody else is speaking so far, let's listen to what Mr. Suresh Kumar has to say from his two minutes participation in the exercise. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, sorry to join a bit late. Uh, 
so I did not understand the, I mean, I did not go through the exercise as, as uh, what you said, but uh, the essence what I'm getting is, my <coughs> expectation is uh, not to have expectations about the people or relations. And uh, even if I have attachments, they are connected with detachments. So I will not be suffering mentally. And I wish, I mean, I desire uh, people around me, uh, you know, uh, feel the same and uh, with a good health. This is my desire. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sir. Yes, Rashmi. So uh, something very interesting came up for me um, as I was recounting my different uh, desires. Um, I found that, uh, you know, I, and both my desires were like really like, like longing. Right? But I found that there was a conflict between two desires. And that was very interesting to find that and very powerful because, you know, one desire is canceling the other and vice versa. Mm. Um, so that was really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, that's a lot of people have that. Thank you so much for sharing it, Rashmi, that this discovery itself is profound, that how one desire may be canceling out another. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? Looks like, you know, people are very private. They don't want to share about their desires. So it's all right, as long as they know them. Yes, Shanti ji. Please go ahead. Good morning, sir, and good morning, everyone. Uh, the survival desires are just the opposite of our true desires. Sometimes they are clashing. Many, many times they are clashing. Hmm. So what did you find out about your desires today? First is self-care is very important. First, I have to take care of my requirements. Then I, I can concentrate on others and then my spiritual growth. Exactly. So how many times I told you that I'm so happy that you realized it. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. Okay. Yes. Good answer. Time for you. Yeah, very good morning, sir. Uh, what is coming to me, sir, that uh, the true desire is basically to enhance uh, enhance my uh, energy uh, or uh, energetic capacity so that I can create uh, the unique reality as a unique being which no one yet has created because I am a unique uh, infinite being. So I would like to enhance my energetic capacity to create new realities, which I don't know at this moment, but uh, who knows if I have enhanced capacity with all the powerful energy, maybe I can create new reality, which at this moment is not clear to me as a physical object. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, so I said that today is going to be a short session, so it's going to be a short session. And before we close the session, um, and by the way, Janesh, attachment to desire is the root cause of suffering, not the desire itself. Kuldeep ji, little shyri from you, sir. Sir, <clears throat> dedicated to the Almighty. Kate 
के तरीका ही नहीं आता उन्हें महसूस करने का तरीका ही नहीं आता उन्हें महसूस करने का जो कहते हैं कि खुदा है तो नजर आना जरूरी है ट्रांसलेशन प्लीज पीपुल डू नॉट नो द वे टू फील हु से दैट इफ गॉड इज देर वाई इट इज इज इट कैन नॉट बी सीन बिकॉज नॉट ओनली सीन देर आर सो मेनी इन फाइनाइट वेज इन विच ही he makes his presence felt in many times in the day. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir, Dr. Shidi. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. I think uh, other than attachment, sir, unfulfilled desire creates problem. That's what was coming to me. Shairi jara baari hai ke. अर्ज किया है कि अनफुलफिल्ड एक्सपेक्टेशन यू कैन हैव अ डिजायर विदाउट एक्सपेक्टेशन ओके यू कैन हैव अ डिजायर एंड वर्क टुवर्ड्स इट बट इफ यू हैव एन एक्सपेक्टेशन दैट इट मस्ट गेट फुलफिल्ड देन यू हैव अ प्रॉब्लम विद इट करेक्ट हैव अ डिजायर एंड वर्क टुवर्ड्स द फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ इट बट विदाउट एन एक्सपेक्टेशन दैट इट मस्ट बी फुलफिल्ड राइट दैट इज आल्सो पॉसिबल इजंट इट अदरवाइज तो डिजायर छोड़ दिए ना हमने we have given up so many desires because they never got fulfilled and then we got upset ke hota to kuch hai nahi nothing happens so why should i desire stop desiring many of us have done that okay, what is the point of desiring you will only feel upset because it's not fulfilled so they stop desiring are you getting what i'm saying one of the reasons why may many of us might have given up desiring things ye bahut dard hota hai hai na So anyway, that's a good one. Thanks for bringing out another aspect. Oh, yeah, sir. Thank you so much. Shairi, Janab, has said that he has fallen from the sky of the desires of your heart. Wow. He has fallen from the sky of the desires of your heart. He has been waiting for a long time in the sky of the desires of your heart. He has been waiting for a long time in the sky of the desires of your heart. सुनी है तुम बिन ये सारी कायनात सुनी है तुम बिन ये सारी कायनात चले आओ बस यही ख्वाहिश है हमारी चले आओ बस यही ख्वाहिश है हमारी तो आप ट्रांसलेट भी कर दीजिए वो हमारी ख्वाहिश है झुक गया आसमा आरजू में तुम्हारी आई थिंक इट्स वेरी सिंपल तो शब भर रुका है चांद राह में तुम्हारी वाह स्काई हैज कम टू यू टू फुलफिल योर डिजायर मून हैज स्टॉप्ड इट्स वेटिंग फॉर यू टू अराइव वाह विदाउट यू एवरीथिंग इज एम टी इन द यूनिवर्स come to me that's what desire i have the desire wow fantastic thank you thank you thank you have a nice day everybody yeah go deeper into your desires and see what shows up sometimes we don't even express our desire thinking that oh i will have to do something about it now so just leave all expectations huh? don't worry kuch karna hai don't worry that you have to do it don't worry that you don't have to do it just have a desire you might get some surprises from the universe when you do that yes vetri ji sir sorry to disturb but the energy which in going over is telling they say there is a high chance that it gets fulfilled i would like to listen one or two desires from you sir in this forum your desire i have expressed all my desires so many times Okay, so I'm in my last. I mean, the desire which I really wanted to get fulfilled was fulfilled on my seventieth birthday, and that was a very big one for me. And now I'm at a stage, all right. All my desires are fulfilled. Now, what else I desire? 
Okay, so I'm working on that one. I mean, this is like pure desire without any survival motive behind it. Okay, so sure. I made some very absurd uh, desires which I will share with you next time. Okay, thank you for asking. Bye bye. Sir, sir I, one word. Yes, sir, only one word. One word means one sentence. <laughs> uh, not to have a desire is also a desire I feel well and when you know something I was thinking a lot about it that the day you truly don't have any desire <laughs> there will be no reason for you to be alive anymore also yeah okay so either you will become a saint in which case you will have a desire to contribute to humanity and then you'll take your commandal and go around preaching and helping people to expand themselves. Or you will take moksha and say bye-bye. <laughs> yes, sir. Or you, may, or you may sing a song like Dunya Mil Bhi Jai To Kya Hai. Now there's no more reason to be alive. So great, that's good. fantastic. Thank you very much and see you tomorrow morning for another session of Empowering Morning Conversations. And Thank, we you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. And uh, people from Good to Great, remember, immediately after the EMC, we'll be doing Good to Great. There will be another link for that. Okay? Bye. Bye, sir. Bye, God. everyone. God bless everyone. Everybody. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.